Before we get into today's video, I just do want to say this isn't a video that is done for views or anything. This is a video just to show how proud we are as Wrexham FC supporters to have Rob and Ryan in charge of our club. And also, I do want to give a big congratulations to them for gaining the freedom of Wrexham Borough. I mean, it's an incredible achievement for them and it just shows how much of an effect they have had on this football club. And obviously, the town and community of Wrexham on a whole. So please, sit back relax and enjoy the clips that are about to follow. Like I said, you can find out the full Ryan Reynolds video in the description down below. So if you want to give that a full watch, then please go ahead and click the first link in the description. Make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. We're on the road to 13K. And yeah, enjoy the video. What a time to be a Wrexham fan. Now in a docu-series, you are followed everywhere all the time. And no matter how good of an actor you may be, no matter how much you try to protect an image or a veneer, the truth of who you are is eventually revealed. I've heard that Ryan is a pretty good actor. I wouldn't know because I don't really watch movies. Um, I work in TV, uh, which I know is, uh, this isn't really the right environment to talk about that, but the truth is like, there's so much money in TV. Guys, <laughs> like, I, like do movies, but like also do, do TV, it's awesome. The, the whole economic structure is like completely different. Again, we can talk about it later. I mean, again, since I don't watch movies, I, I, hear, I hear that there's a lot of super famous people here. Um, you know, I don't, I don't really recognize you, but you all su seem super cool, and everybody's taking pictures of you, um, so that's a good sign. And you all seem to think that Ryan is great, so I trust you that he is. Um, again, I can't speak to him as an actor, but I can speak to him as a man. I have spent the last two years with him on this wild journey, one that we're very quickly realizing is probably not going to end anytime soon. There's no rap date, there's no closing night, uh, there's a strong chance that we're in this thing together for the rest of our lives. And I can honestly say that there is no person on earth that I would rather be doing this with than Ryan. He's massively... <laughs> he's massively successful in everything that he does. His work ethic is unparalleled. His talent is undeniable, and he has as much integrity as anyone I've ever met. And all these things are important, very important attributes uh, in a business partner, but they aren't the reasons that I love him. And I do love him. The principal reason that I'm excited about potentially spending the rest of my life with him <laughs> is that he's been able to accomplish all of these things while never straying from an unwavering commitment to simple, basic kindness. He approaches every project every endeavor, every relationship, every interaction with a kindness that is so striking, it's disarming. You're almost waiting for the other shoe to drop, but it never does, and it never will, because there is no other Ryan. What you see is exactly what you get. And what I see is a shining North Star of joy and kindness. I get to be around it every day. And everyone in this room has had the pleasure of experiencing that in real life at some point. But what's so wonderful about Welcome to Wrexham is that audiences get a chance to see it for themselves. The real Ryan Reynolds is the one that we already know. A force of nature who shares his shine with anyone and everyone in his orbit. Ryan, you have uh, mentioned to me that your daughters uh, were convinced that we're actually brothers. And while that's not biologically true. Uh, it is, from my perspective, emotionally true. I uh, could not feel more honored than to consider you my brother. You are luminous, my friend. Absolutely radiant. Thank you for sharing your shine with me and the world, and I will jump into your arms for the rest of my life. Hi Ryan, it's Humphrey Carr here, uh, much loved and widely respected Executive Director of Wrexham Association Football Club, wanting to wish you congratulations on your American Cinematheque Award on behalf of everyone at the football club. But they wouldn't let me do it on behalf of everyone, so here's everyone. Congrats, Ryan! Cheers. Too emotional here, but we're impossibly grateful for this honor uh, from the council. Uh, Wrexham is home to one of the most beautiful stories on earth, and um, 
I, I recognize that this this honor is to acknowledge our contribution, but I'd also say that the reverse holds true. Um, you know, what, what this town has given us is immeasurable. Uh, what it's given Wales and the rest of the world is immeasurable. Um, you know, R Rob and I walked into a pretty crazy idea uh, uh, a few years ago, and Wrexham ran with that idea. Um, our goal is now and has always been to uphold the values of this community and this club, uh, but none of it works without you and without the people of Wrexham and the players on this team, the ground staff at the race course, everyone who makes this work, uh, the locals in each and every nook and cranny of, of Wrexham, uh, many of whom we now consider uh, very close friends. Um, we're, we're amplifying something that is really already there. We're, we're shining a light on something that is already quite perfect and unique and, and special. Um, Wrexham is the name, isn't really just a slogan, it, it's now a, a globally recognized motto. And our goal is to continue growing uh, Wrexham in the hearts and minds of folks all over the planet. Um, so I, I think I can safely speak for Rob when I say that we consider ourselves, genuinely consider ourselves the luckiest guys on earth. Uh, thank you for, for welcoming us into your homes and your special community. Um, and um, we're eternally grateful to you. I will only say that it's a deep and wonderful and profound honor, and thank you. And I know if Rob were here, he would—he uh, tends to be a little bit more emotional than me. I know he'd be just a bucket of tears. So thank you, thank you all.